Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's feature Grandmaster and I'm doing it on the Titan. As you can see, I'm using uh, Void 3.0, I'm using Sentinel class. Uh, you can see all the aspects and the fragments I'm using. I think most of you guys, most of you guys will use very similar ones. Uh, the build is very important here, I believe. So uh, I've, I've changed a couple of things about from the Wallop run. I'm using the Seventh Seraph instead of, instead of the Time Lost Fate Brown because there's really no difference. Uh, Tyranny of Heaven Bow and Galahorn, obviously Solar. Uh, Lucent Finisher on my on my uh, class item. Uh, Rocket Launcher Scavenger Innovation, but I'm using the Heart of Innermost Light, and that is what's going to make the difference. This run is 12 minutes faster than the Warlock run, which I still find completely ludicrous. The reason for it is Heart of Innermost Light basically empowers your ability. So you use one ability, it empowers the other one. So if you put your barricade down, your grenades do more damage, but they charge faster. Which when you use your grenade, your barricade will then be stronger and charge faster. So we're going to synergize almost, it's almost like uh, we've got what own inbuilt fat vampirism where we're going to feed off each each of the abilities to get one back. So just as normal, what I'm going to do, throw a grenade, try and take out some of those uh, uh, incendiars. And as you can see, I actually managed to take both of them. Again, got to be very careful with the barrier because you've got a barrier and an unstoppable here. There's the, there's the unstoppable. Now, I think what happened here, if I remember correctly, is I think the unstoppable ended up pushing. Yep, here he comes. So, again, we want to stop him as close to the explosive barrel as we can. Fire fire the, the Galahorn at him. And uh, we'll get the explosive damage from the barrel on top of him as well. And then we're just going to back away because he's going to keep pushing. And I'm not wanting to fire another rocket at him because I want to finish him. So the further away we are, the better. So we'll be able to get another stop on him here. I'll throw the grenade and then just plug away at him. And there we go. That's him finished. We've got our brick of hit. We've got a brick of heavy. We'll probably come back for that after we finish this barrier. Now, a cute burn is on. You guys already know that. Uh, so that is why I'm going with a solar uh, solar bow because it will cut through enemies a lot faster than anything else will. So I, I've got a brick of heavy. I just got to burn another shot, and that's the barrier down. So we're off and running two for two, no problem at all. Now. I've heard a lot of people say uh, that this is a very easy Grandmaster. And in terms of Grandmaster, now that this is the way you kind of have to look at it. In Grandmaster terms, it's the easiest. But this is not, it's not easy. So if you've came in and you've tried this and it's not worked out and you've maybe watched the videos, m not my videos, you might have watched someone else's videos. Yeah, missed him with that second rocket. He was very clever there. Another little thing about when the the... The Thresher, you can actually shoot the incoming rockets, just in case anybody didn't know that. Uh, if you've watched a video and it never worked out for you, don't don't lose heart. This is not an easy uh, activity. It's just, in terms of GMs, it's easier. Now, you've seen there, he, he never had a ton of health, but here's a yellow bar. We are in a Grandmaster, so that is still quite a bit of empowered uh, damage that we put on him with the melee, because... Put the barricade down so everything is empowered. Again, you'd have seen I, I, uh, I don't really want to pick those elemental wells up because the void, uh, that void burn from the the scion. I don't even know what it's actually called. Trail is that is that what we're going to call it? The void trail from the the scions. Oh my! It, it, even though it's we're not talking about that burn. Uh, it burns. It properly burns. So that's, you've got three of those uh, honoured uh, legion legionaries that will push you, and you'll have a phalanx. Once they're down, you're going to take out the adds in the centre. Whilst being very mindful of the two scions that are over on that ledge where we're shooting now. There's one there and there's one further down to the right. There's also an elite one, there he is. And you've got this guy here. So we'll put a galley on him. He'll run. He wants none of it. Then when you take down a set amount of the ads, you'll get your next wave. And within that wave, you'll have some, some some legionaries and you'll have your unstoppable. 
So again, just pick them off. It's it. It's not. I don't want to be. I'm definitely not being condescending here, guys. But it's you guys will already know this. This this isn't rocket science. Clear the ads in front of you. Move forward. What I like to do is I like to make sure any ads that can do damage to me from range, and I'm talking about serious damage, not just, you know, if a legionary starts shooting at you, it doesn't automatically spell death. But if a, if a scion starts shooting at you, yeah, not so easy to recover from that. So we're going to try and stop this unstoppable within that grenade. Again, I've got one rocket. Uh, I really want to stop, stop, I, I really want to finish this guy, but because I put the grenade on him, uh, he's not going to run at me very quickly. So you can see we took him, we took him right down there. Again, I think I said this in my Warlock run, do not panic if you run out of heavy. It's, it's very generous. The GMs, are, I found in my, <laughs> I was going to say extensive, but it's not really that extensive. I found out in my testing, one of the easiest weapons to get ammunition for is a rocket launcher. Now, I should point out, I forgot I hadn't taken that Scion down. See what I mean? You've got to focus these, the heavy hit and ranged ads. Uh, in my in extensive, not really that extensive testing, rockets are one of the easiest heavies to get ammunition for. Swords are the easiest. Rockets... Uh, rockets the next easiest. I have found that linear fusion rifles are the hardest weapons to get. I don't know how it works or why it works like that, but they are the hardest weapon to get heavy for. I I have been testing in the grasp of grasp of avarice boss. I can get rockets no problem. I have bricks for days lying about. The minute I put on a linear fusion rifle, not happening just does not want to give me ammunition for linear fusion rifles so as you can see we're going to break him i still haven't dropped a ton of heavy but you'll see that it will correct itself now it's worthwhile mentioning this you see there I've, I'm, I've went from none to five it's worthwhile mentioning this um this unstable core if you pick it up but you don't bring it over here only the champion will spawn and the minute you bring it that's when your war beasts and your, your champion up top and your, your thresher, that's when they will become, you see the thresher is now active. As long, if you bring it over here, that's when all the other ads become active. So you get three uh, war beasts from over here. Normally one of them drops heavy. As you can see there, one of them did. We've got two snipers. I only managed to take one. Uh, I can see the other one. Do I get them here? Yeah. So that's the two scions down. I'm trying to keep that that uh, I'm trying to keep the solar charge with me. Now, when I done the warlock run, this champion over here was a pain in the backside, and I'm pretty sure he ended up being a pain here because he just wouldn't move out of cut. He stayed there. If the ads are in high cover, if they've got the high ground, that's what seems to happen. So I kind of just figured right there. The, the, that was what was going to happen. That the the champion was just going to keep moving into cover. Now I I can't remember because I've done two runs. I've I've also got my themed run to go up. It must be the themed run. Uh, what happened was that the champion ran away to the right and and just kind of stayed there. So I'm just trying to keep resetting this uh, unstable charge. This is where I want the champion, right? So we're just going to put. Two big ones on him. And there we go. Because I'd already broke his shield and put a couple of bull shots in him, he he never had full health. So now, there's no running back to get this unstable core. If one of the dogs comes while I've got it in my hands, I will use the unstable core because it's solar and completely miss him with the first hit. And I'll just go for him. Melee kills start health regeneration. So I got my health back. And there we go. So you slam this... This door's going to open, we're going to get some ads from here. So I'm going to empower my grenade, which should take care of them, because I've also got the... I've also got the... The mod on that... Uh, not the mod, the fragment, where uh, my grenades last longer and they weaken enemies. So definitely, you know, if you can couple it with the empowering, as you can see there, I've got my rift back. 
If I do, and I think I do get hit quite quite hard from this champion. Just gonna burn a rocket. I was hoping, and as you can see there, I don't know if I don't know how how easily you guys would have seen that. I fired a rocket knowing there was an ad up there. And what happened is the wolf pack killed the ad because I'd already put damage on him, which then sent another wolf pack, which was much stronger than the other ones, back to the champion. That is what the catalyst gives you as well as two in the mag. If Wolfpack kills uh, any of the ads around the champion, it will send a super powered. It's not really super powered, but I think it does like f three or four times the damage of a normal Wolfpack and gives you yellow numbers. Uh, it, it causes one of those to appear that wasn't there before, so it gives you an additional Wolfpack round that does big damage. So that's why I kind of decided to burn a rocket. Uh, hoping that I would get that wolf pack, uh, which which I thought the wolf pack might have ended up killing the ad, but we were lucky. the The rocket killed the ad. The wolf pack went after the the champion, which took him down quite low. Those ads back there, you do normally get a brick of heavy from them. So I've got five. I'm happy with five, right? I don't want anybody thinking I've got to have seven all the time. I'm not going to moan about it. But I'm happy with five. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bypass this kind of bridge area or whatever you want to call it. Uh, ramp. Ramp. We'll call it ramp. It's a bit bland, but we'll call it ramp. So we're going to bypass this. The only ad we need to kill here is the champion. So we can go up to the top of the ramp, leads into the ship. We're just going to... I always give it a second to let the ad stop looking at me. If they're not shooting up here, I'm normally good. But I'll throw a grenade down. We'll see if it hits any of the ads I need to hit. Now, I started shooting at this boy here. And that wasn't a good idea because he's just going to keep shooting at me. So I decided, I think I decided to just back away. Not shoot at him. Let him reset his focus on the, on the fallen, which are further down the ramp. So now we're going to come out. And as you can see, that's all it takes. Just back away a little bit and let them focus on someone else. Now we'll break the barrier shield and fire another rocket, which hopefully... I was hoping that would have killed, killed the barrier. It didn't, but the ball does. Just having a look to see if there was any heavy, because now I've only got three. I'm still okay with having three. We can, we can, we've got plenty of opportunities to farm heavy in this room. So as you all all already know there are tanks in this room there's one tank when you first go in so i tried to throw a grenade which the grenade did not hit because i'm so used to having time to charge but as you can see you might have seen at the end there the tank moved towards the grenade so again do maybe maybe it's not such a good idea to put your barrier barricade where i did here because now i'm blocking my only my only uh angle on the ad so what i would do if i was you is maybe turn around and face the barrier the other way because you get shielded from both sides of the barrier you don't have to be on one side you get you get shielded from the front and the back so almost got our grenade back and now the void ads are out so I'm just going to kind of work on these. I think I take a big hit from the tank. So the tank's getting a little bit close. I, and, and the reason why I said about the... Doing what I said about the, the barrier is because I'm having to move out to the right here. See, I, I, I got a hit there. It's I still haven't... I still haven't bothered moving. And I mean, even I'm cringing looking at this. That is it's not a good place to put the barrier. Turn around and face the barrier the other way. Now, luckily, I caught ads for that grenade. So I'm just waiting. There's too many ads there. I need to get a grenade on those incendiaries. And I'm, I'm so used to throwing the, the warlock grenade. The angle seems to be different from the warlock grenade. So we, we managed to take the incendiaries. All the other ads have moved out of the way. Now we need to have a look at the tank. And what I'm going to have to do is use my bow for the rest of the, the tank. Now luckily, the, the rocket never took any of the legs out fully. 
So what I've got to do is break, break the legs. And I'm hoping once I do that, that will be enough. There we go. We broke both the legs. It wasn't enough, but now I'm going to throw a grenade, which didn't, to start with, didn't quite reach the tank. But the tank was very gracious and moved back into the way. So now, because, because I don't, because I've got no legs to aim at, I'm going to try and aim at the center of the, the tank. That's the that's what I was talking about. You have to move. You have to move into cover that maybe you shouldn't really move into. You've got to move into an angle you shouldn't have to move into. And there we go. That's the tank gone. We've got heavy here. So w with the barrier, turn around and face the way you came. Move back a bit and face the way you came so that you're not you can still hug the corner to get an angle on the ads. Right? So when you come in, any ads that you haven't dealt with will have moved. They normally move up to that top left-hand corner along with the unstoppable. When you come in, a whole bunch of them will come to you here. So you you can just you can just whittle them down like this. Very easy. Uh, when you move closer. Any ads that have ran away will come back. Now, I've got three heavy. I'm just having a look around. There's two barriers here as well. See the unstoppable? There's that other ad that ran away with them. We want to take... I don't mind having the unstoppable. I think I think my depth perception was a bit off here. Uh, I get my grenade, and I think I thought, but I didn't realise the unstoppable had started to move backwards. So, as you can see there, just... Your barrier will st will save you from burn damage, but you're still going to have to move. You're still going to have to move away from the burn. If the unstoppable moves away, you can drop down and push push underneath, and he'll come back. See, see, the minute I started to move, he came back. So we'll just stop him there. I want to take the rest of the ads. I don't want any of these ads sitting. You know, I don't want... If I'm going to push the unstoppable, I don't want any trash mobs coming and getting involved. So, let's put that barrier down. And as you can see there, there's still, there's still another little red bar ad up. There he is. I'll stop the unstoppable if I need to. But luckily, they both come over to the grenade, which is nice. If you move, as I was saying, you can see the two champions up there. If you move to the end of this platform, then the champions will start shooting at you. The barriers up top. If you stay a foot or two back from the edge, you won't have to deal with any shots from the from the the, ba the barrier. So what I'm trying to do now, very very close to getting this this unstoppable to a stoppable position, and then I, I can push down. Wait for him to jump down. If he's not stoppable, wait for him to jump down. Now, normally you can take the heavy from underneath, but I may, I, maybe I wasn't jumping to the right place. And that's the last of the trash mobs. No, it's not. I thought it was. He must be the last. He must be the last. So now we've got to find this brick of heavy. Where is it? There it is over there. And you can't, I don't think I was able to take it from underneath because it was on the edge. So if I just jump up next to the edge, there we go, I've grabbed it. Now, I'm going to take out these two barriers. So what I've noticed is, and this is a change from previous seasons, because normally the minute you looked at these two barriers over there, they would run away. What's going to happen now is one of the barriers is actually going to allow me to do damage. So I'm just going to break one of the shields. The other one, the minute he sees the shield getting broke, it's going to run away. So I'm going to put another rocket on. And then that, the second rocket really made up for the damage I feel that the first one didn't do. So you can see there, I don't want to use another rocket because I want to keep some for the next barrier. The other barrier, and this works, this is repeatable, right? The other barrier has is off. What used to happen is they back away and then they would come back as soon as the other one was down. It didn't work like that this time. So we've got to find him here. There he is. We'll fire a rocket. We'll break his shield. We've got a brick of heavy up here that we can see. And then we'll just break, break, break another rocket out, which just killed him. 
And now we've got four rockets. Everything's all good. Now we're going to get the next tank. We're going to get some phalanxes. We're going to get a yellow, an elite ad that's going to stay up with the tank. But we're going to get three unstoppables. Now, I play about with these unstoppables a little bit just to try and get more ammunition. Should I need it? So what we're going to do right off the bat, grenade. Now, I was doing this wrong and I... I worked out the way I should have been doing it to start with because and I worked it out doing this if you want to empower your grenade you put your wall down first and then when you use your grenade you'll start empowering your your uh, your barricade so you'll see me do it at the boss I'll wait until because I, this, I think it was here I started to notice that although I was getting my grenade back faster with the barricade, as soon as I used it, when I was using it, I was, I was missing out on all the, all the empowerment. I think I work. I, I think I started to really get into my groove. Uh, at the, at the boss, you want to wait. Don't put your barricade down until. You've almost got your grenade. And then you'll you'll find that you'll get your grenade and your barricade almost at the same time. So when you put your barricade down, you're going to get... I'm just going to put a rocket. I, I think I end up putting two rockets. Uh, I think I might actually end up finish, finishing this tank with a bolt. So now I'm, now, now I'm going to put the barricade down. Now I've got the full empowerment tank. So you throw it up there. And then, if you, if you look at the numbers, I'm I'm getting higher numbers, and I'm I got more. So this is where we want to be. So I put my barricade down. Now I get my grenade. No, I no. I, I would even maybe wait a bit longer than that. But I'm still getting a couple of seconds of empowered grenade damage. You know, and it gives you like ten percent, fifteen percent more, something like that. So. We'll put another grenade. I don't know how much the tank's got. I was just trying to get into the groove of throwing the grenade. And Now, the numbers you're getting there, you can see, I must have broke a side. And the grenade has hit the side I broke. You get big numbers if there's still... I don't know what you want to call them. Uh, you can see there, the tank's got nothing. There's no point in throwing another grenade. I'm just going to work on this leg here. I must have been hitting the other side with the grenade. Now, another thing I noticed when I was doing this, I'll wait for him to fire again. If I'm moving around the top, he, uh, if I'm moving a lot, which I'm not now, but if I am moving a lot, he doesn't fire. See how he stopped his fire because I moved? You can actually do that. It's something that I'm maybe going to play with for, for a future run, is wait until he just about, maybe a couple of, second or so before he's going to fire and then change position because he can't adjust while charging the tank can't adjust its shot by charging while it's charging it's got to stop charging and then you know because it, it it won't track you or fire in a position you can actually get him to build his charge up and then uh build his charge up and then uh, move and he'll cancel it to readjust his aim so there, there might actually be something in uh, being able to just constantly move while aiming at the tanks. And you know something? I bet you that works in the Proving Grounds as well because it would just be a tank mechanic that you can get the tank to almost fire at you and then move. If you get your timing right, it won't matter what, what activity you're doing it in. If you get your timing right, it will work for all tanks. So... Now we've took the phalanxes down. Uh, I didn't really want to take that Ill Ill illicit slug shirt. I think that's what his name is. The yellow bar. I don't want to take him down. Because now when I do take... Uh, well, actually, I think what you'll see is... The dogs are out now. I think that door's open. If I wanted to, or if you want to do this... Uh, you can actually move away from here now. You do not have to take these unstoppables. If you take the tank... And you take the illicit slug shooter. I'm pretty sure the door's open now. 
But there we go. You can see the dogs. Oh, just just there. I'm just shooting at them now. Uh, because the dogs are out, we know the door's open. And because the door's open, we could just go. This is this area done. But I wanted platinum. And to get platinum, you have to kill all the champions. Because you get better rewards for, get, for getting platinum. Now, I kind of messed about here a bit longer than I would have liked. Uh... Quite simply because I, I wanted to finish. I've got two rockets, you know. I think we'll see here now. I don't I don't actually look, but that door is definitely open because the dogs have to come from somewhere. So I've decided. What I was trying to do was get them in the get them in the grenade, and stop stop them. So the grenade ended up whittling them down, and so we've got one pretty low. Uh. While you're in, as you can see, you don't have to be behind your barricade to get your empowerment. I have to say, I'm very impressed with these uh, these grenades. So I have decided I'm just going to burn one of them. So that's one of the unstoppables down. So to get, if I want to now, which I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to entice this unstoppable to come down to me. Now, unfortunately, because I went so far over, they both came over to me, which I didn't want. So now what I've got to do is keep one of them away from the other one. So we'll stop him. Just put my barricade down. I'll, I'll stop him. Throw my grenade. And then the guy behind him, I'll stop him. They both are now being eaten up by the grenade. What I might have to do is back right away to the door. Because obviously they're doing solar damage and we don't want that. We want none of that. Now they're both coming at me. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Throw grenade. And stop both of them whilst they're in the grenade. Now, because I've went so far back, one of them's ran away and the other one's unstoppable. Uh, stoppable. Or finishable, should I say. So, got six rockets now. So there he is. So I'm going to try and get him stoppable. There he is. I can see the little circle. Full ammo. A little more, although I didn't pick it up. Why? Your your guess is as good as mine. So I'm just going to take, take these dogs down. And like I said earlier on in the run, getting heavy ammo, especially for a rocket, it's nothing, you know, it's, 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 it's not something you have to worry about. It's one of the... I'm sure that uh, it's 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 too happens too often to be a coincidence that linear fusion rifles don't get a ton of ammo, but even machine guns do. Linears are the only ones I've seen so far, but I'm pretty sure grenade launchers struggle for ammo as well. Uh, rocket launchers just they're all over the place, you know. So almost at the boss. Got this last room left, and in this room, the the only thing you've got to worry about in this room, really, if you follow this, is the barriers. And even then, you you've got nothing to worry about. You've got an unstoppable. You've got two two uh, honored phalanxes. The boss is going to be here. You're going to have a bunch of Scorpius turrets, uh, two barriers, and an unstoppable, as I've said, and and, and just a bunch of uh, legionaries. So what I like to do to start with is just maybe just ping a couple of these Scorpius turrets. The left hand side ones, the ones that can shoot you freely. And I'm waiting for the unstoppable when sometimes he takes his merry time to come round and uh, so we can we can clap him. You know, we, once you take out the Scorpius turrets, or at least at least two of them, your uh, the boss will go. So again, a similar tactic. I can't fire at him now. When it comes to the unstoppables, you've seen there, I, I haven't reloaded my rocket launcher. Rookie mistake, you know, can all do it. If when you stop the unstoppable, if you have to reload your heavy, don't bother firing it. It's going to be a wasted rocket. Because by the time they stand up, they're now taking a quarter of the damage, if that. So, we'll just get back behind here, put bar. Now, that's another thing you can do is you can throw the grenade 
and then put a barricade down, you will still get the empowerment. And as you've seen, you get 10 seconds of empowerment. So it might actually be an idea to do it like that, to, to throw the grenade, then put the barricade down. And make sure the grenade's on whoever you want it to be on. I just have to back away here. No problem. Although I am red bar, but it's, it really isn't any problem. So I'm going to stop him. He's not getting a chance to do that again. We know he's finishable. About... Um, I, I don't know, but tw half, uh, 25%, 30% of his last health bar normally means he'll be unstoppable. Uh, unstoppable? He'll be finishable. He is unstoppable anyway. Uh, my, my, my comment for today's video is, it annoys me when people say, have you got, uh, have you got a weapon for the anti-barrier? No, the, the weapon is anti-barrier. So you've got a, an anti-barrier weapon on. Just something that annoys me when I hear that. Have you got a weapon for the anti-barrier? No. <laughs> it is an anti-barrier weapon. Anyway. So, now I'm going to... The weirdest things bother me sometimes. So, I'm just trying to clear the ads from this first little bridged area. Because there's always... Nearly, nearly always... You're going to go up there and one ad is just going to like Houdini right next to you. So, I'm not big on running to that first uh, platform like super quick because I like to give that ad that, that you know you can see me still looking I'm firing in that direction just to make sure I have took a couple out but I, I can't remember if one of the dudes dropped down so I'm just I'm gonna go up here just have a look because if, if he, you see there now, I fired at that doorway and got no explosive damage. That should be all the ads from this first area, right? I shouldn't have to deal with any more. I know I've got... I know I've got a rocket back there, and also, there are there are rockets on the floor. I'm still looking, because I've had this before. I've had it before, where... Uh, I'll just put a rocket down there. Now I'll need to break the shield... And I've reloaded. I reloaded before I went after him with the bow. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. That's that's one barrier down. It's, it is... I've, I say this before, especially with Grandmasters. Uh, waste of a grenade there. I thought the barrier was down there. He's not. I'm trying to find out where the barrier is. I've said this before, especially with uh, some of these GMs. There he is. So that'll take out the, the legionary that was there. Now I've got one rocket. Should I put another one? Yes, I should. Now we should be able to finish them. And it was unfortunate <laughs> that just out of reflex, I fired <laughs> my bow. But luckily, he dropped that piece of heavy anyway. So we're seven, rocket, we're seven rockets up. We've got one more add. That's that's kind of in the free world, if you like. This kind, this honoured legionary, over here, he's he's my last ad. There is a a volcanic scorpius. Volcanic scorpius? Is that what they're all, they've always been called? I thought they were just scorpius turrets. Uh, so we'll just take him out. Obviously, solar damage. This bowl with the explosive is really good. Now we'll get the drop pod down. Clear out a couple of ads that are in here. And then, it's going to be slightly different at the boss. Because on the Warlock, yeah, you can fire. You can throw grenades for days and what have you. But uh, you also have a very attacking super. Titan doesn't have that attacking super. We don't need to keep any rockets for the boss after this phase. So I am going to try... Put a few rockets. I want to keep some, obviously, for the the ship, the thresher. Took me a while to remember that. Uh, but what we've got to try and do is get the boss down to his his, uh, his first health bar out the way. So I always you've probably seen me do it already a couple of times. Uh, I use try and use the shoulder charge just to get myself out of the way of some of the ads. It's, it's just a movement thing. So, I'm looking to see where the boss is. 
I've got two rockets. So I'll put one up there. Um, I've got to keep one for the Thresher. But his shield still hasn't went up. So I'm just going to have to keep pinging him with the bow. And stay mindful of his sniper. I can see his sniper going from green to, to yellow to orange. When it's like orange, he's about to fire. And I'm just going to keep putting it on him. See that? Green to yellow to orange. Make sure you're not in the way of his sniper when it goes orange. Because it's a one hit. There we go. He's put his shield up, so it's just before he gets to the end of his first health bar. Now what we've got to do, clear out the adds. The real adds you've got to worry about, you've got your Thresher here, but there's also a... Uh, uh, not a Legionary, Centurion. I always forget what they're called. There's also a Centurion. These rockets that are coming in here, I mean, they obviously do a lot of damage because they're solar. They do a lot of damage anyway. They are the rockets I was talking about that you can actually shoot. So we'll just put a couple of grenades over. Now, you can back away here. It's no problem to back away. But you will get a, a uh, turn back warning. Be careful of this uh, Centurion. See that turn back? If you back away too far, you'll get that turn back. But, uh, yep, we'll just finish off these last couple of ads. Because we're using a solar bow, this uh, Centurion does not have a good time. I think one one more shot, and there we go. So, all the ads are down. I'm just making sure there's no uh, legionaries hiding in a corner somewhere, putting their next post on Facebook. Uh, so we're just going to run up here. Now, this, so we're 35 minutes in. It took me, if I remember rightly, 23 minutes to do the grenade kills on the Warlock. I think on the Titan, it takes me uh, eight minutes. Getting this ability regen, using this, and obviously when you pop your super, it gives you your grenade straight back. Now this caused, this caused the disparity in, in getting the, the barricades. So I get the barricade, and now by the time I get my grenade, the empowerment's going to have ran out. So that... I think for the I think the next one I just you know I just wait because like I've already said you pop your barricade it speeds up your grenade your grenade does more damage you use your grenade and it speeds up it speeds up your so you can see there I'm just waiting fire the grenade now for the next one when I get my barricade I'll almost have my grenade back so I will wait till when I pop my barricade, it will give me my that gives me my grenade, and then we do it like that. And now I've got seven seconds when it hits of empowerment on my grenade, which then gives me my barricade, which I've almost got my grenade back. So that's where it speeds up. You want to give yourself the maximum amount of empowerment. Now I'm just going to keep doing this for. The rest of, you know, his health. So at a point, this is all going to speed up. Uh, and if you look at the time, it doesn't speed up for that long because it didn't take me long to take this guy down. It was faster on the Titan than it was on the Warlock. And I think the Titan run was actually better than the Warlock run, if I'm being honest. I finished it well within the time limit. This is, I think, the last grenade to kill the boss. I think I back away to look and he's dead. There we go. Uh, that is the Titan run. I managed to get an adept uh, duty bound, uh, which was, it was a pretty good roll. That seems to be what's dropping. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate, again, the support I've been getting on the videos has just been crazy, and I, I can't thank you guys enough. If you did enjoy it, a like really does help the video. If you've got any questions, a comment would be great as well. I've still got my themed Nightfall to come out. That'll come out tomorrow. It's Deep Stone Crypt theme this week. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Enjoy your runs. Go in, get your loot. Let me know what you got, and I'll speak to you guys in the next video.